heard people say, this can't be done. It's your job to remove those myths and to get things done. In many ways, we have been critical of and saddened by what has or has not happened in our country. To a great extent, this has been a function of we can't do this or it can't be done. Do not grow with a view that something can't be done and so should not be done. You, in the years ahead, are going to be leaders of this country and shaping the destiny of this country. You look at the world around you, where ideas were born, where individuals started in garages. Where did Microsoft, where did Apple, where did Amazon, where did Google, where did Facebook come from? They came from ideas that people felt something could be done. The technologies that don't require billions of dollars to establish, that don't require hundreds of acres to, to build, enterprises that are built on innovation that's in your mind, non-traditional, untried, and sometimes risky, but that make a big, big difference in the world of tomorrow. If you, if you speak or sit next to a Nobel laureate, he never tells you that he won a Nobel Prize. Other people tell you. So let humility be your best defense. They came from ideas that people felt something could be done and that they could make a difference. If you think you cannot make a difference, I'd say you very well can make a difference if you so desire. And you shouldn't merely consider yourself successful based on the prosperity you gain for yourself, but you should go home at night feeling satisfied if you have made a difference. That difference is something each one of us can make. We'll have failures and we've had frustrations, but it's a continued commitment that we have to the world around us. My enthusiasm in the new India of tomorrow continues to be there. I continue to feel the need to support enterprising young Indian engineers and scientists. And all of us should be very pleased to play this role and need to support this because all of us should be keen to unleash the Indian tiger. And we haven't done that as yet. So let's all put our hearts and souls behind the fact that this is going to be the new India of tomorrow.